if you look back to the Victorians, they were all about mourning. You know, they would wear black and everybody would know. And it's kind of become a taboo subject, hasn't it? Gr grief and death and, and all these things. And, um, you know, for me, the idea of, of um, closure is sort of doesn't really mean anything. I mean, why would I want to close off my child? You know, I want to sort of keep that relationship going, albeit in a different way. And so for me, this sort of active process of grieving is something that I found helpful and that I continue to do. So I have little rituals, things I do. Um, you know, I visit his grave and I go for walks and it's it's that kind of active thing of um, engaging with the terrible fact of his death, but also trying to kind of um, create an ongoing relationship and keep that love going almost, you know, it's um, a very strange thing. But for me, that's I found that's a helpful way of of um, keeping going, really. Well, I suppose I, I feel probably that life, I, you know, had fundamentally changed for me when Felix died. That, you know, life carries on as normal for everybody else. But, you, you know, your kind of your world is totally changed. And so you've got this very odd situation going on where, you know, on the surface, you're sort of being normal. But inside, you know, you're falling apart, really. Um, and and you just see the world so differently through that lens of, of losing a child, um, losing a loved one so shockingly and unexpectedly to something like Zudep. 